Hey, good morning, Mount Olive family. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, it's so great to be with you this morning as we continue to uh, dig into the Word of God, as we continue to go through our campaign of unleashing hope, our spiritual campaign where we get to just unleash the hope and the love of Jesus Christ to our friends, our families, and to our nation and to our world. I'm really happy to be joining you this morning as we uh, just continue to walk through this together as a church, as brothers and sisters in Christ, and as true as followers of Jesus Christ. I am joined <laughs> again this morning by Louis the Wonder Dog. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty tired. He's already had his morning ritual. He's already pretty tired just from uh, playing with dad all morning and uh, just cuddling up on the couch and just having a good old time. So good boy. So good morning, everybody. It's great to see all of you tuning in and all of you logging on. As you're logging in, don't forget to hit that share button at the bottom of your screen so that way we can continue to reach out and we can continue to spread God's word uh, to all of our friends, to all of our families, and to just continue to cast the word of God out into the harvest fields. So it's great to be with you. Good morning, everybody. My question for you this morning is, uh, is do you have something do you have something that you always carry with you and you take it with you wherever you go? It can be uh, something like a necklace. It can be uh, like a really meaningful gift or anything that you just always have on you. And I'm not talking about something like your phone or something like your wallet. I'm talking about something that's really personal, something that, that means a lot to you individually. And I don't have it with me right now it's in my wallet in my dresser but so one thing that i have that i always carry with me is it's a a, a challenge coin that my dad gave me before he passed away and this challenge coin it's about the size of a half dollar it's about this big and it's a springfield firefighter challenge coin and that that's always really special to me because he's got um, well, my dad gave me a lot of different challenge coins throughout his career and a lot of uh, keepsakes, but this challenge coin, basically, uh, their their history kind of goes back uh, to military times or uh, as early as World War II or Vietnam or, or earlier. Maybe, uh, maybe you know a little bit more about me, but from what I've been told uh, is you, you give these challenge coins and uh, if you run into somebody... It, you 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 think might be in the same ballpark as you you show them a challenge coin and then if they have one then you kind of swap stories and you kind of just get to know that person uh, i have friends in the military who do stuff like that you know they get challenge coins after uh, a deployment or after they've been stationed somewhere or or whatever the case may be so uh but my dad gave me a challenge coin and i carry that with me wherever i go just and i know my dad's in heaven but it's a nice little uh, physical reminder that, you know, I've got my dad or the memory of my dad with me wherever I go. So I saw, I saw a wedding ring. I saw a cross necklace in there. Those are both awesome. An organite flower with my dad's memories. Oh, that's really cool. That's really, really cool. That's really unique and that's really personal. So that's, that's awesome. Yeah. So in the comments, let me know, is there something that you guys have on you or that you guys carry with you wherever you go? So like I said, I carry my dad's challenge coin. Maybe you have something that's personal. Maybe you have a gift that somebody gave you. But I want to talk about go that idea wherever you go. And I want to talk to you about Joshua 1 verse 9. And maybe this is a verse that if you've heard you've heard it before, it's going to ring true. It's familiar. Uh this is also a a pretty popular verse for a lot of people uh, when they go through confirmation. This is my confirmation verse that I picked about 12 or 13 years ago. So I've always had this verse, you know, etched in my memory, etched in my brain, etched in my heart. And 
just reading it this morning, it was, yeah, this is something that I need. So if you have your Bibles with you, I invite you to pull it out. We're only going to look at one verse, but we're really going to look at what it means to not go it alone, to have God with us wherever we go. So, again, this is Joshua 1, verse 9, and I, I'll, I'll use ESV. So this is God's word to Joshua. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. The Lord your God is with you wherever you go. You know, and that that's a pretty powerful statement on its own, right? But and when you look at the context, when you look at Joshua and when God told him this, Joshua was getting ready to lead Israel, literally to cross over to the border of the promised land, to lead Israel into the promise that God had laid out for his people so many years ago. And Moses, and Moses had just passed away. Joshua is now the leader. Joshua is now the top dog in Israel. That can be a lot of pressure. That can be a pretty big weight on Joshua's shoulders, as I'm sure it was. And that can bring a lot of fear. That can bring a lot of anxiety. That can bring a lot of uncertainty to Joshua's plate. But no matter what's going on, no matter what Joshua is feeling inside his heart, God promises him, don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged. Don't get worked up about it. I'm going to be with you wherever you go. And that's not just a promise that shows up in the Old Testament. That's not just something that was conditional for Joshua. That's something that Jesus promises to his disciples right before he ascends back into heaven. That's the promise that Jesus gives his disciples, and it's the promise that Jesus gives you and me as well. If we flip all the way to Matthew 28, at the very, very end of Matthew's gospel, right before Jesus ascends, you know, we call this the Great Commission, or maybe you've heard it as the Great Sending. Whatever it is, this is the passage where Jesus tells his disciples to go baptize all nations in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Teach them every, teach them to obey everything that I command. And then his promise to the disciples, and his promise to you and me says, Behold, I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Some translations may say something a little bit different, like to the very end of the age, or I will be with you forever, or I will be with you until the last day. Those are all good. Those are all good translations. But the promise is that no matter what happens, no matter where we go in our lives, no matter if we're on a good day, if we're having a so-so day, maybe we're having a really bad day, Jesus is with us wherever we go. He sends the Holy Spirit into our hearts to be with us, to abide in us, to create and strengthen our faith, to pull us toward the word of God, to pull us to the scriptures and to pull us in our eyes to the cross, to see the promise that God has for you, for me, and for the entire world that says, Jesus is with you. I am with you. No matter where you are, no matter where you go, I promise to be with you. And we know that God never goes back on a promise. We know that he always fulfills his promises to his people and to his children. So church, no matter where you are, and especially right now in 2020, there's a lot of, there's a lot of negativity. There's a lot of unrest, no matter how far you look, no matter where you look. There's a lot of things that can maybe make us feel alone, maybe make us feel isolated, make us feel like there's really nobody in our corner. There's nobody who's for us. There's nobody who gets what you or my may be going through, but not Jesus. Jesus says, I know where you are. Jesus says, I know where you are, and I promise I will not leave your side. I will be with you wherever you go. And church, that's something that we can give thanks and praise for, and I think it's something that we can pray for uh, Thanksgiving right now. So church, join me in prayer. Uh, Heavenly Father, you promise to love your children. That's a promise that has never, ever been in question. That's a promise that you gave from the very beginning of time. 
It's a promise that you gave to Joshua, and it's a promise that you give to all believers around the world. It's a promise that you give to the world. That no matter the day, no matter the circumstance, no matter what's going on in our lives individually or as a whole, you promise that you are here, that you are with us. You mourn the things we mourn. You grieve the things we grieve. And you cry the tears that we cry. But Lord, no matter what happens, you promise you will be with us wherever we go and we don't need to be afraid. You promise that you sent Jesus to the cross to die for each and every single sin of each and every single person throughout the entire world. And Lord, you promise to be with us. And Lord, we ask that you just continue to send your Holy Spirit, send it out into the fields, continue to strengthen us, continue to bolster our faith and to draw us to you and to your word so that we can go out and we can be your hands and feet and we can bring your word to all those in our lives. And Lord, we know that we can do this boldly and faithfully because you promised to be with us wherever we go. And all God's people said, amen. Church, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Like I said, don't forget to hit that share button at the bottom of your screen so that way we can continue to reach more people. We can continue to share God's word with anybody and everybody in our lives. And in our random act of hope calendar, this is a good one. I think this is something that we can all get behind, or maybe it's something that you already do. But the random act of hope for today is to bring somebody, get somebody a coffee. Get somebody a coffee mug or a coffee cup and bring it to them. And leave an encouraging note, a hopeful note. You know, bring that to somebody, share it with them, and just remind them that Jesus loves them, that Jesus is with us no matter where we go, and that Jesus is our living and certain and risen hope. So church, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow at 9 a.m. for our continued walk through our spiritual campaign of Unleashing Hope. And we will see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your Monday and have a great rest of your week. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.